Hi, I wanted to talk to you today about the wonderful benefit that you and I get from the Cook Inlet gas. It heats our homes, keeps the lights on, keeps our schools warm for our kids and our businesses. Your neighbors, many of them, actually work in the oil and gas industry. These are the same folks whose kids go to class with your kids. You see them in the grocery store, they're buying the same items that you are, buying that milk and the lettuce and all of those kinds of things. They've got good paying jobs, jobs that are available to you and I and to other Alaskans. You know, three years ago, we were talking about importing natural gas into the Anchorage Bowl area because there wasn't enough being developed out in Cook Inlet. So the legislature saw the need, and we instituted some tax credits to help incentivize smaller companies to come into Cook Inlet and to develop those resources for your benefit and mine. Well, they came great. They've done wonderful work out there. The, the Cook Inlet production of natural gas has increased more than 100%. The same is true of oil, and it's happening on the North Slope as well because of tax credits that helped, helped reduce the cost of doing business in Alaska. You know, you and I go to the grocery store, and we purchase things, and then take a visit to the lower 48 and realize there's a difference in prices here. We pay extra to live here in Alaska, but we do it for a reason, right? Well, the same is true if you're an oil or gas producer. It costs a lot more to develop our resources. So the tax credits help offset that. We started discussing the tax credits on June 17th in a joint resources meeting on the Kenai because we realized that those need to be revisited. We need to think about, are they effective? Are they doing what we intended? Are we spending too much on those tax credits? So, so that's what we've started doing. Now, a couple weeks ago, the governor removed $200 million from the pool of money that's available for these tax credits, and it's rippled out into our community. Companies now are having to pause because this was money that they were counting on to get loans to keep up their work. It may result in loss of some jobs because they're having to close down some of these projects. This is a concern to me, and I hope it's a concern to you as well. While the legislature is revisiting these tax credits, we're going to have these serious discussions. We want to make sure that we're a stable place, a dependable place, for companies to come and do business to hire Alaskans, to hire our kids and grandkids for these wonderful jobs. So, Cook Inlet, supplying gas for you and I, also potentially supplying gas, additional gas, for Fairbanks. We want to make sure that we continue to develop these resources, continue to develop the North Slope oil, which helps pay for our schools, pays for our roads, pays state employee salaries, all of those important things that you and I enjoy. So thanks for listening. Please pay attention, and um, we'll be discussing these issues. I'll be sending out yet more information in the future. We want to keep our economy going strong so that you and I, our kids and grandkids, can continue to live here. Thanks for listening.